make something simple for once. hope you're doing great. I hope your week is going well. I'm exhausted. As I said in the last video, I will try to do something a bit more simple this time. I had another project planned, but I won't probably have the time. And I'm planning to do two videos in four days. But let's not talk about that. What I want to do today is inspired by an amazing creator that is the Instagram account Semina Mari. I'm sorry if I don't pronounce it well. But a friend sent me this video where she does a crown of thorns that I found absolutely amazing. And I was like, I need that. <laughs> I think she sells it, but I didn't look up on it. But I, I just wanted to do something inspired by that or at least do it my way because she does it with acrylic and UV light, or like, or the nails. As you can see, I am not made for long nails. That's absolutely amazing and will probably last longer than what I plan to do. But so if you're interested, have a look at her Instagram. It's linked in the description, of course. But yeah, I wanted to do a crown of thorns. So uh, I looked up on the internet to see What's the point and what, what's the, the, the symbol of a crown of thorn? Because of course we know uh, Jesus wore one. What I read is that God put thorns on the earth to punish human beings and to remember what Adam and Eve did and what they did was wrong, like to protect nature and to, to forbid human to do mistakes, kind of. I, I probably translated very badly, but that's that's what I understood. And Jesus wearing this crown of thorns is a symbol of mockery and shame. In spite, and it's actually related to Roman Empire. Heroes wore crowns of timber, yes, to symbolize like their win and all that stuff. Uh, and so it's kind of like it's it's parody. Now the crown of thorns is still considered as a mockery and a proof of suffering. So I found that very interesting and I'm something absolutely... It's, it's a symbol very strong and that I absolutely uh, love and that would probably be very useful for my art degree <laughs> that's coming in a two month. So that's why I want to do that. Yes, it's supposedly a one day make project so it's gonna be a bit more simple than usual but I hope it's still gonna be interesting and yes, I think we can get started. <laughs> so, instead of using acrylics, I'm gonna use hot glue gun, of course. I literally burnt myself yesterday with that, but it's, it's okay. And for the structure, I'm gonna use some wire. Maybe this one is a bit too soft, but I have tons of it as well. So, what I'm gonna do is try to take one of these wires, put it around my head, try to tie it a bit, and then go with two or three more around to make something a bit bigger and try to glue with a hot glue gun some tiny bits of wire to have some pins and to make like it's thorns. I think you will get what I do and I will try to explain why I do it. It's gonna be a bit more simple. I have a big head. Now I take another wire and I try to put it around and do some twistings and stuff, yes. Does it look good? I don't know. Okay, so now I have some tiny bits of wire that I'm gonna try to stick in some ways, somewhere. 
and try to seal everything here, for example, or here. So I glued the tiny bits of wire to make some points and I tried to cover every piece of wire of this crown with hot glue so it would be a bit thicker and so I could carve it into points and make it look really like thorns. I think we have something, like we have a base and if I put it on It, it looks cool. I think it does. We have something. <laughs> now I'm gonna take my cutter and I'm gonna try to cut down some bumps to make it look a bit more even and cut all those tiny threads of glue. But I think it's looking pretty well and I'm very happy about that. It's not as neat as with acrylic and shaving it down with a Dremel, but it still looks okay, I think. Now, time to paint. I'm gonna paint in black, even though I'd love to have it in gold as well. It's pretty easy to do, so I'll probably do another one. It's giving venom. <laughs> I'm here for that. It's very pretty in black. It's not dry yet, as you can tell. But it's... What if I added some silver? Well, here you go guys, I finished this project that was pretty quick, actually. I'm not used to do a one day project, or even this one was like one afternoon. <laughs> uh, the longest part was letting the paint dry, because glue isn't absorbing that much paint, but I think it looks cool, it's definitely it's definitely not as neat as the one I had for inspiration, but I think it still fits my aesthetic pretty much and even maybe fits better that way than a very clean one. It still has some progress to do. I'm definitely not used to make accessories. Can we consider the accessories? I found that very interesting to do and probably will do others like that. But I think, yes, the best way is to do with acrylics and a Dremel. I think with this colors, it's pretty cool. And maybe I will do one in gold. Why not? But this one is kind of a cursed one. And yeah, I really like it. It's pretty funny for me to do a, a crown of thorns right after doing Tiffling Horns, but <laughs> I think that's my duality. <laughs> so I still hope it was an interesting video for you guys, even though it wasn't very long, but that's the best I can do for now. <laughs> and I still have another project to do tomorrow, so yeah. So yeah, tell me what you think about this video, it's already done. <laughs> I haven't talked that much. So if you like this video and maybe even me, you can consider subscribing, I upload 
at the moment every two Wednesdays. I hope I will manage to upload uh, more often, but for now it's every two Wednesdays. Your follows and comments supports me a lot and gives me a lot of motivation, you, you guys can imagine. So thank you for that in advance. And I guess I'll see you guys in two weeks. And until next time, I send you a lot of love. Bye.